Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbick. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. Here's your daily technical analysis of stock index futures. I'll start with the UK FTSE futures. A higher but indecisive dip, still indecisive, doji cross yesterday. However, the market did close consecutively for a third time below the lower time, currently 74.75, of the September to late November 2021 breached bullish Andrews pitchfork. This is the death knell for this pitchfork, and it will be retired after this commentary. Prices were held up by the short medium moving average, currently at 74.08, and by the nearby middle time, currently 74.02, with the bullish shift pitchfork for the same move as the Andrews. Below, there is some fairly free territory until the slowly rising medium moving average, currently at 73.19. And then the strong combination of the 50% Fibonacci line of the July 2021 to February 2022 move at 71.82, the slowly rising long moving average, currently 71.83, and the lower time, currently 71.70, of the same bullish shift pitchfork. So far today, a gapping lower move below the short medium moving average and the middle time, then a sharp drop through the medium moving average before coming to a halt at that strong combination of the 50% Fibonacci line, the long moving average and the lower time. Interestingly, despite this drop, prices have still not set up the opportunity for a monthly key reversal in February. German DAX futures. An attempted bearish dark cloud cover pattern yesterday to counter the previous two-day bullish meeting lines pattern, but it didn't quite make it. Overall, this was an attempted continuation of the recent bear flag move lower. So far today, a strong move lower, looking like a bearish opening long black Maraboza right now. Prices punched down through the recent low, making a new low not seen since February last year. They also punched down through a large congestion area between 14.078 to 13.804, which included the February 2020 high at 13.821, and more importantly, the 50% Fibonacci high of the big October 2020 to November 2021 move at 13.804. This congestion ban has eroded the bearish incentives of today, such that the market's having a very hard time pushing down through it. Should it do so, then the next support of note is, a, is at 13,636, but probably better at the February 2021 low at 13,356. US E mini SP futures. A fourth bearish black crow yesterday as prices continued their rejection of the overhead resistance provided by the long moving average, currently at 4483. The market also continues to follow on lower from target X in the 4300 area. This is the target for the recent small double top, or more accurately, the cat's ears pattern formed over the past three weeks. Overall, the market only punched through, but also closed below the quite wide congestion area between 42.60 up to the 2021 38.2% Fibonacci line at 44.40. This was the first close below this congestion band. So far today, a strong move lower, down through the previous 2022 low at 42.12, and the nearby 38.2% Fibonacci line, the lesser one at 42.05 that caused a halt in the first place. Then down through the some fairly clear area until the June 2021 low at 41.26, where the brakes have been applied. Below that, we have the May 2021 low at 40.29, and then the important 50% Fibonacci line of the October 2020 to January 2022 move at 40.18. This is just above target X1 in the 4,000 area. This is the target for the whole of 2022 being a bearish halfway hesitation pattern. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential markets, patterns, and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Toffick and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final bit.